and welcome back to my channel. All right, so this video reading today is what's the current gossip on your person? What's what's the tea on them? You know, this could be somebody that you're romantically involved with, somebody that you're not romantically involved with, friend, family, foe, whomever. Just yeah, what's the current gossip on this person? Um, I'm probably gonna get a lot of romantic messages. I do have the romance oracle cards. Um, just simply the energy tends to you know always kind of go towards the romance on this channel however though um ask for anybody before i get into which deck is which um i'd like to thank all of you who are sub to this channel thus far i thank you all as always thank you so much for your kindness your energy for watching for subbing if you're brand brand new hit the sub button as well as the bell notification i drop videos weekly also if you'd like to book a private reading coaching same day read walk and read um priority reading uh patreon become a patron of mine where i do exclusive giveaways monthly check out the pinned comment below as well as the description box below also um I'm doing a giveaway when I get to 4,000 subs on this channel. So hit that sub button, you all. And all you got to do is be a subscriber. And I'll let you know the details when I reach that pinnacle. All right. And also, y'all, I'm starting the second channel. Um, and it's still going to be centered around uh, the occult, all things esoteric. Um, but yeah, more so, more so DIY videos on how to's and story times and just what have you just whatever comes to mind you all i'm starting this new channel um well kind of how i started this one for fun um however though i want you all to go over there and sub i'll have the, the information for the new channel is in the pin comment below as well as the description box below so go over there and sub i'll be posting very soon i'm already getting stuff you know ready and recorded for my first video i already have my first five topics videos that i want to execute written down so yeah so a lot of planning is going into it and whatnot can you all see the can you still see the smoke there we go where there's smoke there's fire uh, <laughs> but yeah so going to be doing there we go i wonder if i'm going to edit that out i'm probably not going to edit that out you all so you're going to see all of this lol so yeah so going to be doing the channel soon uh or uploading to that channel soon you all go sub over there and yeah that's that's all i got to say about that one um and what else ah four decks to choose from today this is going to be deck number one deck number two deck number three deck number four again deck one deck two deck three deck four pause this video see which of the decks you feel resonate with you the most and then i want you to come back when you are ready for your answer so we're gonna find out what's the t on the person that you're asking about I have a plethora of oracles I'm gonna also draw from and yeah let's get into it so universe I thank you for the channeled messages ooh must be a lot of gossip surrounding this person I feel like the person that you're asking about deck number one is someone who is well known and this doesn't have to be on a large scale Ooh, okay that one wants to flip out this doesn't have to be on a large scale um just well known for whomever they are wherever they are universe thank you for the channel messages what's the current gossip about the person that deck number one is asking about what's the current gossip y'all these cards are just literally falling out Spirit wants to reveal some tea today. What's the current gossip on deck number one's person? What's going on with them? Do I want these? Yeah. Give me one more. What's the current gossip on deck number one's person? Boom. Bottom of the deck, we got the three of knives. So this could be involving um, a third party. Your person could have... Um, your person... Okay, I'm picking up. For some of you, if this is romance, your person could still be stuck on someone. Um, or just now coming out of a relationship or coming out of the emotions of being attached to someone. This could also be somebody maybe in work life re purposes, you know, they, they've just gotten let go of or they've just left the company. Universe, thank you for the channel messages. What's the current gossip on those who chose for 
deck number one's person. Give me one more. What's the current gossip on deck number one's person? Let's see. We're going to stop right there. We have, look, a change in the wind is at the bottom of the deck for the oracle. Wisdom of the oracle. What's the current gossip? And who's gossiping? Give me all of that. Give me one more. What's the current gossip about this person? We have gilded with regret. Go with those two. Gilded with regret. So somebody might have, your person may have reluct reluctantly left a situation. Um, or you might have, or no, no, no. Your person may have reluct reluctantly left a situation or have been reluctantly let go of. That's what I'm getting at. For some of you, I really do feel like this is a co-worker of yours that you haven't seen in some time. And it's like, you know, where's Terry? I am hearing the name Terry too, by the way. So this person's name could be Terry, but it's like, where's Terry? You know, I haven't seen him or her in a minute. Like, where they let go of? What's the current gossip surrounding this person that deck number one is asking about? Give me, give me. Actually, do I want one more? Yes, I do. Work through your fears. So this definitely could be something in regards to work. What's the current gossip surrounding deck number one's person? We have express your love, bottom of the deck, and then let's get one of the millennial oracles. What's the current gossip surrounding? Okay, that one wants to come out. And do I want to keep going? I actually don't want to keep going. Keep it 100. Show your true self. Be honest with yourself. Be honest. Avoid hidden motives. Ooh, so something might be coming out to light soon in regards to this person, but let's see. I'm going to set the oracles to the side. I usually read all my oracles, you all upright, unless, you know, spirit, you know, brings something out in regards to reading it in reverse. But let's see. We have the son of sticks that came out in the upright. We have the mother of knives that came out in the reverse. Ooh, you know you all I just heard somebody's getting fired somebody was recently dropped from something either they were dropped from their romantic relationship because some of you I feel like you're coming to find out the gossip about somebody that you're romantically interested in and if it's a romantic interest their person broke up with them we have the six of sticks I told you this person is very well known very popular it could be someone who's very well known across social media this could even be yourself very well known across social media could be very well known in other you know arenas as well could be famous um but they're very popular very well known very well liked too um this person is somebody who got a lot of hairs for some of you this might even be you the energy that you're getting off of but this person has a lot of haters a lot of people around them who generally don't like them and because your person always appears to win i feel like your person is someone who's very 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 attractive so just in general they attract you know good and bad energy you have the chariot that came out in the upper okay i'm definitely getting the story so your person the current gossip about your person is so it's being speculated that they either got dropped from a particular position or company um or that this person may have left the position or the company or that this person was currently broken up with this person is freshly out of a relationship and for those of you that have a crush on this person this is like a yay now for those of you if you're coming here in regards to romance um i'm not getting that this person is scorned by this past relationship this almost feels like you know in both cases whether this is from an opportunity an endorsement uh, or for some of you this is hilarious some of you are asking legit about a famous person <laughs> lol this is hilarious whoever you are out there i'm picking up on your energy you are asking about somebody famous but yeah so this person isn't heartbroken about the situation this feels like something that was a long time coming you all we had the ten of coins in reverse yeah this person recently left a position or left a relationship ten of coins left the relationship left their family this is something that was long-standing so they were either in this position or at this com a company for quite some time yeah the father of coins that virgo energy this person could be a virgo Ooh, earth sign period because we got the hair font that came out in the upright and then we have the son of knives you all i just heard the term family over everything you know how when people say family over everything so i feel like this person chose family i feel like this person is like 
reevaluating their life and it's like they're trying to choose the right path they're trying to choose the healthy path they're choosing family this person something about this person is very close to their father whomever you're asking about this person is very close to their father usually gets a lot of great advice from their father or they could be very close to their mother if this person doesn't have a father or just parental figure this person something about a mentor is really important to this person for some of you this is the management or supervisor but essentially if you've been wondering where this person has been at if you worked with them they have been let go of or they left for a lot of you this person chose to leave the company for others of you if this is about romance you're wondering like are they still with their person they have officially broken up look we have love bombing showered with attention to influence someone's behavior manipulation hidden intentions so yeah once again this person is very very popular i feel like this person is very well sought after oh is that a baby she's pregnant oh okay y'all may be if this is about love and you're wondering because it looks like this couple is cupping her stomach if you're wondering you know for some of you this is about a baby announcement you're wondering if they got a kid this would be a yes or if if they got somebody pregnant this would be a yes we have honeymoon for some of you you're wondering if your person tied the knot that's a current rumor that may be going around we have the fates we have never ending story. So I feel like this person in general, once once again, because they're so well known, it's always some type of controversy surrounding this person with never ending story. Definitely this person has a lot of haters, you all. That's what I'm feeling like with that one. Now, I just got a message for you all. For some of you, you're wondering, once again, this is a love interest or this is a crusher. I told you some of y'all are asking about a famous person. You just got confirmation that this person is pregnant if you're asking about somebody famous. Um, but you're also asking, am I ever going to come across this person? For some of you, this is a crush that maybe not know, you know, much about you or know about you. You're wondering, am I going to come across them? This is a very much so. This is a yes, 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 yes. Um, it's happening in due timing and divine timing. I can tell you what's coming out. Due timing and divine timing is within six months. So, yeah. Yeah, look at the bigger picture. So, yeah. So, so your person essentially sailed onto smoother waters. So, and then we have be bold and make the first move. So for many of you, if it's the breaking up of a relationship um, or the company or leaving a company or leaving an endorsement, because I keep on getting endorsement, this person chose to do that. This person may have been sticking on principles or it just it didn't align with their their their, you know, vision anymore. Once again, somebody might have also suffered a miscarriage with that three of knives in reverse or maybe somebody was pregnant there was a baby and there was an abortion your person may not have wanted the kid that's what i'm getting with that so we have envious gluttony i told you this person has a lot of just mm, not the best energy around them this person is something about loyalty this person is looking for genuinity this person is looking for loyalty they have a problem with coming across people who are very loyal simply because this person is so popular there's a lot of people around them that want to take advantage we have triumph of lies once again something is coming something's going to be uncovered where was the what, what was it? it was at the bottom of the day gilded with regret something keep it 100 here we go something's going to be uncovered i feel like especially if this person is well known and popular in whatever arena they are for some of you this could involve you know this could be somebody with the church now and involve a pastor um it's gonna come to light but it's gonna come to light by way of the mouth of this person so these rumors and the gossip that you've been hearing uh is coming out from the horse's mouth so to speak naked before the stars what i tell you it's coming out from the mouth so a lot of this is going to be confirmed i'm hearing you know within the next few weeks actually by the person themselves that that's what this is and it's like this person's trying to get ahead of a story they're trying to you know you're gonna hear it from me first for some of you this is about a youtuber i keep on getting you're asking about somebody famous it's like i want to know i want to know that's what i'm getting with that one and let's see we have blinded to pain so once again in regards to the current rumors um the current gossip about your person this person is going to be saying it to get ahead of the story um there's going to be some sort of email regarding you know that this person's been let go of if this is a work person or the relationship you're going to see it some some type of written something is coming through it's definitely coming by written but it's coming in a in a you know multi-form so it's written but it's also involving 
everybody on an email paste or maybe a Facebook post or an Instagram post. But definitely that's what I'm getting with that. So in, turn, in regards to the current gossip, this person just left a significant relationship, whether it was romance, whether it was work, um, may have lost a kid, um, a child, unfortunately, pregnancy. Uh, may have aborted a child there was a pregnancy there um yeah if this is a crush or somebody you've been wanting to meet is you are within the next six months you are going to get to you're going to get a chance to, to not just meet but meet talk have some type of ongoing with that person it's so funny i just heard somebody say well, is that going to be you well see that's the thing i'm i'm just regular old me so but i feel like you're talking about somebody big 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 meet talk have a conversation with you know all that good stuff so that's what i'm getting that's the current tea on your person so deck number one you all let me know was that bringing out anything for you all was that bringing up anything for you all and once again i'm starting that new channel soon i'll be posting very very soon make sure you check the pin comment below as well as the description box below to um sub to my second channel that i'm doing for fun this one started out as fun so we'll see where it takes me we, we should see we're just gonna be doing some things if you'd like to book a private reading coaching consultation same day rewalk and re-priority reading or become a patron of mine then check the pin comment below as well as the description box below and let's get into it with our second deck deck number two so deck number two universe for those who chose deck number two what's the current gossip about the person that they're asking about ah i want that card i'm gonna take it with you what's the current gossip oh this feels like it's in relation to family i just heard this is about your mother hmm maybe your mother who knows what's going on what's the current gossip about the person deck number two is asking about i'm hearing stuff is she a friend Ooh, I even heard, like, is she is she gone? Is she passed? Let's see. Do I want any more universe? What's the current gossip about deck number one? Deck number two's person. I need one more. What's the current gossip about deck number two? Still want to go this way. Wants to go that way. We have the two of disc or the two of pentacles. That came out in the reverse. universe thank you for the channel messages what's the current gossip about the person that deck number two is inquiring about boom we have guest that came out in the reverse i generally read the i generally read the oracles in the upright unless i feel you know the energy compelling me to i do feel now here's the deal this is about a loss in popularity i feel like the person you're asking about recently gained some a loss of favor what's the current gossip about the person at deck number two is asking about what's the current gossip what the person at deck number two is asking about let's see we got honeymoon that came out at the bottom of the deck for this one that came out in the spread for number one what's the current gossip about the person that deck number two is inquiring about what's the current gossip about the person that deck number two is inquiring about do i want one more give me one more what's the current gossip about the person that deck number two is eh, just one inquiring about okay okay we got communication is key let's get a couple more what's the current gossip oh wow those came out very quickly we're gonna take on atonement yeah somebody needs to apologize so the person that you're asking about deck number uh two somebody needs to apologize something was revealed and this person lost favor with a lot of people it could be a family member and we have flexible and so having to compromise that's what i'm getting with that so we're gonna place the oracles to the side for now and let's see what the tarot is saying. So we have the seven of arrows that came out in the reverse. We have the six of lotuses that came out in the upright. Yep. Something has recently been revealed with the seven of arrows or seven of swords that came out in the reverse. Something has recently re re revealed about your person. And I feel like once again, I'm getting, I'm hearing the matriarch of the family. So it might be a mother figure or a feminine figure. Um, 
that something about something your person the person that you're asking about they were lying about something major and it's in regards to manipulation now i do kind of feel that this person was lying about this thing simply because not to manipulate necessarily to to be harmful but more so trying to do what's best type of thing if that makes sense we have the knight of arrows that came out it's time for your person to fess up you have the knight of um arrows or the knight of swords that came out in the upright universe what is this person confessing about we have the eight of arrows that came out in the upright it, it has to do with holding someone back so the person the gossip that's going around well one is come out something about your person the person that you're asking about I feel like they were omitting information. They were definitely manipulating a situation. Um, it deals with family. That's what I'm getting with that. I, I feel like I'm hearing about somebody's brother. They might have been lying to your brother about something. Somebody just found out that they were adopted. Whoa, interesting. So here's the deal. I'm not really getting that the person that you're asking about is this, you know, as well known across the board, like deck number one's person but i am hearing that this this feels like a mother situation like a mother or matriarch or you know mother figure maybe maybe this is a sister somebody was lying to someone lying to your brother i'm hearing adoption that's coming through uh, but once again the nature of this lie wasn't to hurt anybody it was it was it was an effort to try to protect someone however this is a lie that's just been revealed that's been going on for quite some time i'm hearing 10 to 15 years whoa we have the two of cups Something about infidelity is coming through. Someone's finding out the matriarch cheated. The mother figure in the situation, the feminine energy cheated. Ooh, oh my goodness, now this is big. Or somebody's not someone's child. That's what I'm getting with that one. We have the two of wands in the reverse and we have the ten of pentacles in reverse. So definitely this is dealing with family. This is something that definitely disrupted the family. Here's the thing, though, even though this is something that's disrupting a family, I'm not getting that it's going to resolve, uh, result in a breakup of the family, a divorce or anything. However, there is a lot of tension. So essentially, somebody's finding out that, you know, things by the matriarch, this is what I'm getting and take the story as it relates to you. But I'm getting that, yeah, somebody's finding out that, yeah, they maybe were adopted or maybe something about the brother is coming through. Maybe the brother was adopted. For some of you, this is, you're finding out that something about your dog died, you know, like how the story goes when the dog dies, somebody hit the dog and, and that's how that really was. So uh, essentially a lot of time has passed though. So this is more so family gossip than anything. A lot of time has passed and it's immediate family because I'm not getting like the vision of like huge crowds and things like that, but just more so, maybe more so this is resulting in hurt feelings. And more so hurt feelings of why didn't you tell me sooner? That's what I'm getting with that. So we have slut shaming. Ooh, ooh. We have swerve. And we have follower that came out in the upright. So what I'm getting is for some of you, once, once again, I told you that I'm hearing about from the matriarch side. And I'm not getting that, you know, your mom was out here, you know, fighting him fighting and bopping doing the thing i'm more so hearing that maybe someone was born out of wedlock or someone here in this situation has a different parent so maybe your mother's not your mother or your father's not your father and you didn't know that and you grew up in this household with love and care and you know your parents still love you but the way that your parents met something about alternate with that when you found out that or maybe you're finding out you know this is about an aunt or an uncle that this cousin isn't your biological cousin uh, because due to a previous relationship for some of you you're finding out that maybe your mother was a teenage mom um and maybe you didn't you didn't know your mom's age definitely I, I know of people who you know had children young and essentially lied to you know their firstborn about their age due to you know embarrassment that they felt not to say if you are a teenage mom out there you know that this is embarrassment and stuff like that however though but due to the shame or the hurt or the embarrassment that the person felt lied about the age you know never told their their um first offspring how old they were or the other offsprings anyway so maybe you're, you're you know you were born out of wedlock or you were born you have a different father so we have chaos and conflict so yeah definitely this is involved in the family straight on it's time to release negativity so this is a secret that you know this person has been holding on for quite some time and i feel like the how the nature of how it got revealed for some of you and i keep on getting it's your brother for some of you now for some of you you just laughed at that i knew he was from a different planet or i knew he was from a different family um 
you might have gotten a follow request for some of you from this person's actual parent or from maybe for some of you you got a follow request from your birth mom that's what i'm getting with that but it came by way from a third party and this is pretty much you know the jig is up this is why everything is is out in the open now it has to be revealed we have envious and gluttonous and we have guilted with regret so this envious and gluttonous is more so i'm not getting that whomever came forth with the information was envious um, of the connection per se there could be some envy there but more so and i feel like i'm getting the vision of, of a heated argument and just somebody blurting out that's why that's not your child so i'm getting in regards to that so your family system may be a little bit rocked at the moment or you're finding out you know that whoa auntie so-and-so isn't really auntie so-and-so or, or uncle so-and-so or mama so-and-so daddy so-and-so you know insert family member here but this is definitely dealing with the immediate family we have luck is on your side in Sagittarius and we have nothing yet set in stone. So right now the family is dealing with this, but I'm not getting that this is going to be something that disrupts the overall, you know, cohesiveness of the family. This is just something that needs to needed to be talked about. And then look, perfectly said, it is safe to love. So you're going for this is your family. Um, if this is your story, um, deck number two, it's nothing to worry about. There's no love loss and the nature of why the secret was kept is because it was to protect it was protect it was it was supposed to be in love however though you know somebody there's some deep stuff that recently has come out and the person who essentially did the lion is facing his head on that's what i have for you all Ooh, now that was juicy oh my goodness all right so deck number two you all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below also go follow my second channel um information is in the comment section below as well as the uh pinned comment below wait i just said both things at once and the information is in the comment section below as well as the description box below if you'd like to book a private reading coach you send a read walk and read priority reading um become a patron of mine where i do exclusive giveaways and follow me across social media at one Spirit tarot or wanderingspiritual.com then check the pin comment below as well as the description box below and let us get into our third deck deck number three so universe i thank you for these channel messages thank you for the tea what's the tea currently what's the current gossip about deck, the person that deck number three is asking about what's the current gossip What's the current gossip? Okay, this has to do with pregnancy too. Now, here's the thing. It's a false pregnancy, whomever this is. You could be asking about a guy or you can be asking about a woman in this case, but it was a false pregnancy. Um, whoever this is did not necessarily know who the father was. That's just one piece. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but what's the current gossip for those about this person that deck number three is asking about? Ooh, this is juicy. Somebody's stepping outside of the family. What's the current gossip? I'm hearing, is it with the secretary? What's the current gossip about the person who chose that deck number three is inquiring about? Give me one more. What's the current gossip? You know what? We're going to take, nah, give me one more. What's the current gossip about the person that deck number three is asking about? We have the eight of swords in the reverse. Okay, this is about infidelity. Either you... Are inquiring about somebody that you're involved with who in the family system has been disrupted and they might have gotten somebody else pregnant or you're inquiring or you being nosy rosy um and you're inquiring about someone you know and their marriage and their family and because for some of you yeah you might have caught this person you know out red-handed and it's like is this what i think i'm watching and it was um there was a pregnancy scare involved with this one too where somebody don't know who the father uh, is of the child that's what i'm getting with that one and let's see it's time to take action so here's the thing to whom much is given much is required deck number three you might have to speak up about this information to your person you know now don't just take it from just the blanketed generalized tarot general tarot reading you know get all the facts inquire within and beyond but you might have to be the person to reveal more to this person just the current gossip about deck number twos person or deck number three's person what's the current gossip let's see 
do them all one more. Yep. Yeah. We have round and round. This you might be asking too about somebody. I feel like this is a couple. They make up and break up a lot. I mean, like there's a lot of you know. It's just you don't know. Today they might be in love. Tomorrow they may not. But I definitely feel like you're asking about a couple. Now, once again, for some of you, you're asking about a famous couple, a well-known couple, social media influence couple. Right. All right. So let's see what the tarot is saying. So yeah, definitely this. I feel like this one may have also involve some sort of pregnancy either someone don't know who the father is they don't know who the daddy is or or this could be a situation where someone got someone pregnant or there was a pregnancy scare in the midst of a break of the relationship i'm hearing break baby you know or potential break baby so let's see what else is coming out we have the ten of cups that came out in the upright so and, and keep in mind these are gossip this is gossip and rumors but i'm hearing for some of you uh, is going around that this person has a secret family or that you have a secret family. We have the Wheel of Fortune that came out in the upright. We have the King of Pentacles. Uh, people are talking about this person's finances too, deck number uh, three. Like they're talking about this person's finances. Now, the thing about it is I'm not getting that this person's finances are out of whack, but it's in regards to the home life, everything isn't what it seems. They're not really that happy. Um, or yeah, we have the Queen of Sword. Ooh, goodness. People, so this is just a lot of just random gossip. Now, here's the thing. I'm not getting that it's true. I'm not getting that any of this is really true. Well, some of it. I'm not getting that. So in, in addressing the gossip that's going out about the finances, I'm not getting that the person is destitute and broke. In regards, to, in regards to the gossip of, because I'm hearing like, oh, this person's girlfriend is a bitch or this person's wife is a B word, you know, I'm not getting that that's true. And then we have, look, I told you financial. Um, so the current gossip surrounding this person, deck number three, is that somebody that was a potential pregnancy scare, this person is, has stepped out. I'm hearing they may be swingers. You all like this literally feels like some childish gossip, like some gossip girl type blog type gossip. So I feel like for you also, deck number three, are you asking about somebody, you know, famous even, you know, because this feels like some, some, just some all around, like, you know, it ain't what it is. You know, they not that happy. Nobody smiles that much. For some of you, I feel like it's a well-known YouTube couple that you're inquiring about. Nobody smiles that much. Is there a break, baby? Was there a break? Now, here's the thing though if this is a couple you know this person is is currently in a relationship they did step out they you might be the person they stepped out with now they did step out of the relationship um and somebody either tried to trap this person or they utilized a pregnancy scare because of xyz to get revenge or there actually was some type of pregnancy scare um however though whoever's involved with this relationship they are still together and i don't see them really breaking up things may be a little weird in the household but they are still together we have throw in shade we have put on blast Ooh, this is another one that's coming out we have okay boomer so this might be you might be inquiring about an older person or maybe this person somebody had a sugar daddy in this type of situation or maybe this person's you know romantic partner was a sugar daddy at one point to them and that's what i'm getting with that one but with this put on blast and this throwing shade this is something that's going to come out in the open there no this is either this is out in the open this is what's going around and a lot of people are throwing shade and putting this on blast but i feel like you're not really going to get the facts about this situation here's the thing because the parties involved the, the 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 couple that's involved they're not letting go of each other so they're kind of still on each other's team though they're mad at each other within the household that's what i'm getting with that we have oh co-create i told you it was a baby involved now here's the deal this person who's in the relationship is going to pop up pregnant or there's going to be a baby that pops up with that one um this is more so you know to calm down the rumors so here's the thing somebody did step out there was almost a pregnancy some or somebody don't know who the daddy was there was almost a pregnancy or somebody had a sugar daddy on the side somebody was funding somebody's life but you're not really going to get be privy of that because whoever's involved with this relationship, they're keeping things all secret, all hush. So let's see. I forgot to get one of these. What's the kind of gossip on the person at deck number three is asking about two? So we got two of those. We have sacrifice. Yeah, something about if this involves a baby, that baby more so the baby, they decided to not go with the baby. You know, they decided to abort either there's an abortion involved um or somebody is, is coming to find out somebody somebody was lying there was some sort of sacrificial you know something um i'm hearing canceled this, this person 
people are saying it now this person didn't do anything to get canceled but people are saying it in regards to you know uh oh cancellation cancellation we have come to the edge we have oop, is this me and we have obsession so definitely i feel like you're asking about somebody who's very well known has a fan base is popular a lot of people are wanting to know you know what's going on with them is it true is it true is it true is this real yes yeah, somebody stepped out of somewhere but this person and their person they're going to stay on each other's team so they're going to keep things you know kind of under wraps we have the answers you need are coming so this is about to be revealed step out of your comfort zone a new start is coming and bring love into the situation so essentially the couple that you're inquiring about or the person that you're inquiring about that's in a relationship they're not it's not going to end, but they are in this weird zone. You are going to be seeing a lot of cryptic messages like, yo, like da-da-da-da. People do this when they do that, and people do that when they do this. However, though, this person has not officially broken up with their person. It has something to do with a baby. Definitely infidelity stepping out. Somebody is feeling scorned. Maybe the third party in this situation is feeling scorned, spreading lies. Um, or maybe it wasn't a lie. It's just that it didn't come to term, that child. But all in all the public's not going to be let fully in on or even if this isn't like a famous person you're not going to be fully let in on if you're not in the situation you're dealing with two private people that's what i'm getting with that one two people that love to stunt love to save face also um however though yeah and then somebody's gonna pop up pregnant in this situation or pop up with a baby or something new to you know definitely throw people off the scent of the trail that no it ain't nothing wrong you know y'all can't take everything serious that you see definitely see like one of those posts coming can't take everything serious that you see and that you read it that's what i'm getting with that one all right that was juicy all right deck number three you all let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below how did this reading resonate for you did this reading resonate for you and if you'd like to book a private reading coaching same day rewalk and repriority reading check the pin comment below as well as the description box below become a patron where i do exclusive giveaways also my second channel that i am starting please make sure that you go follow me there i will be posting on that channel very 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 soon um i definitely want some people to get over there first um and yeah we just we're gonna have fun with that we're gonna see where it takes me um and where it takes us all at, you know on this journey in this you know in this soul tribe of ours um so yeah you all uh let's move on deck number four all right so deck number four let's get into this So for those of you who chose deck number four, what's the current gossip about your person? The person that you're inquiring about? And is it true? There's a lot of stuff that wants to come out. I'm actually hearing keep that and keep that. Keep that one too and that one too. What's the current gossip about the person that deck number four is inquiring about Ooh, okay now this might be in regards to a partnership a new relationship that's what i'm getting in regards to the energy deck number four that they started a new relationship for some of you you may you know have a thing for this person that you're wondering have they moved on this may be a yes um or they've moved on to some type of new partnership or um company relationship because for some of you you're not inquiring about anything romantic now it's so funny because for a lot of you i really feel like you're asking and i got this energy off of the last like alpha three of the this is the third pile deck that i got this energy from some of y'all are asking about somebody famous lol oh my gosh well i guess this would apply to you know uh let's see universe thank you for the channel messages what's the current gossip in deck number four y'all want give me one more what's the current gossip on deck number four boom bottom of the deck we got the queen of coins that came out in reverse though i really feel like this queen of coins is in the upright but we'll see we'll see what the energy reveals let's see what's the kind of gossip on deck number four it's the person that they're asking about do i want one more nope i'm just hearing that one put that one out that feels like that one too and then we we'll take those we have spilling the tea in reverse. So whatever this current gossip is, and I usually take these in the upright, you all, it's something that's going to kind of maybe stay under wraps for a while. It's going to be speculated, but not revealed. Let's get, what is the current gossip? Give me one card. Okay, that came out. Right? Oh, we got sacrifice at the bottom. So these two came out 
the last one. I want to make sure that this is what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to shuffle it again. And if it's meant to be, it'll come out again. What's the current gossip about this person? All right. Kind of feel that one too. Kind of feeling some more, but we're we not going to keep on going. We have Artificial Heart, the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this definitely feels like it's surrounding romance. Boom. And boom. What's the current gossip about deck number four? This person in deck number four is asking about getting one more. What's the current gossip about the person in deck number four is asking about? We have Keep an Open Mind at the bottom of that deck. Let's go again. What's the current gossip about the person in deck number four is asking about? What's the current gossip that deck number four is for? Mending. Okay, yeah, this is definitely about relationship. Relationship. Somebody's getting back together. Partnership. This could be two friends. For some of you, this is like some sort of like a group or DJ crew or something like that. Are they getting back together? The answer is yes. Or are they making a comeback? The answer is yes. Some type of group. <laughs> LOL, I just heard Fifth Harmony. Somebody might be asking this question about Fifth Harmony. This is so funny. What's the current gossip universe? We need one more. What's the current gossip? You already heard it. And then we have, look at the bigger picture at the bottom of the deck. Though I feel like going again. Let's get one more. What's the current gossip? Boom. Don't let your pride hold you back. All right. So somebody is walking without shame. All right. So let's put the oracle to the side and let's see what the cards are saying let's see what the tarot cards are saying so we have the hair font that came out in the reverse so somebody could be getting back together once again i told you that some type of group or something or you know partnership is coming back together like i'm hearing yes the rumors are true you know we're coming back together um we have the page of wands that came out in the reverse we have the ace of coins oh wow that came back that came out in the upright. So this is either someone's getting back together or somebody is coming together for the first time. Like it's finally happening. I'm here to let bygones be bygones. So I feel like the nature of this partnership, uh, there was a bit of animosity there in the past. I'm hearing the word versus. Maybe this is confirmation on a versus battle. You know, something you're asking about. <laughs> um but this is like, I feel like there's animosity between the two parties that, um, you know, well, one between this person and another party in the past. We had the queen, we had the king of cups. So yeah, this is definitely, this is a relationship. This is the start of a relationship, but the energy of it does feel like it's, you know, starting out kind of low key. We have the eight of wands that came out in the reverse. And here's the thing, the relationship that I'm picking up on or the partnership that I'm picking up on is starting out low key because, well, things are still fresh and new. People are still figuring out, you know, what is this? Where are we? How are we? Are we really going to do this this time? Do we really get along? We have the magician card. Okay, there's a huge collaboration that this person is fixing up with. So this is for some of you. And this is either in relation to work. Um, this is either in relation to... This is either in relation to a product launch or some type of brand or something that you're crazy about. This person could be well known. Yes, they are collaborating or yes, they did just get into this partnership or relationship with this person. Yes, they're seeing where the, this, this feels like something that's going to last, something of a lifetime. For some of you, you come here to kind of see like, you know, for some of you, this is, you know, you're trying to see is the person that I'm, you know, dealing with are they single are they or has this person moved on for some of you you want to know if your romantic partner has moved on i'm getting a yes they definitely moved on and i keep on hearing collaboration so this could mean that either there's a child coming up in the future because there's no child there now there's a child coming up there in the future or there's a you know something in regards to these two people are definitely stuck together mending this could be somebody you might have been dealing with who got back with someone from the past we have the chariot in reverse and we have the emperor in the upright. So they're being very tight-lipped. And this is why, you know, it's, it's gossip, you know, it's going around, it's, it's, it's on the rumor mill. Because they're being very tight-lipped about the details of this. And what I'm getting in regards to the inside is because they don't want to ruin this, you know, the people involved. The person that you're asking about, they don't want it to be ruined. They don't want it to, you know, to fall apart. It's like, is this really happening this time? Or, oh my goodness, I can't believe that we made amends. So they don't want to mess things up, essentially. We have downcast pride. So it took a lot of humility 
I feel like if this is a group or some type of partnership that's coming back together, it took a lot of humility, a lot of coming, you know, coming to Jesus moment, so to speak, a lot of vulnerability, you know, and, and this, this is something that's really important to your person, um, deck number four. And this is why they're not, you know, coming out with, why they're not blasting it on high. So this is another one of those things where you'll hear about it. It will be acknowledged minorly by this person if you ask them if you know them personally it will be acknowledged minorly however though they're not going to give grand details because they're still trying to figure things out themselves yeah it's time to release negative energy yeah this is making amends you and your loved ones are safe and we have balanced spirituality with practicality so definitely this is a partnership or a relationship this took a lot of growing up for the person that you are asking about deck number two or deck number uh, four this took your person to grow up a whole lot to you know this person the person involved they may be a leo and picking up on leo energy they may be a leo or there's a lot of pride that was definitely involved with this situation and yeah what they're realizing is you know this partnership this person this is someone who echoes them their style their, their who they are we have co-create what i tell you is a partnership somebody's either in a new relationship romantically this is going to be something that's locked into longevity and we have observer and what I'm getting with the observer is the best way for you to get more information about this is to be sit back, watch, sit back and watch, pay attention to what's going on around you because you're going to see, see the thing about it is you're going to get your confirmation about this, um, coming together about this partnership or this new relationship deck number four about watching the clues. Cause I'm seeing the vision of somebody post something on social media and then this person posting something on social media and the other person posting the same thing, but at a different angle. And it's like, well, what are the odds? Both of you all are in Ibiza at the same time, in the same hotel, on the same shore, you know. So that's how you're going to get your tea. So we have Sim will do anything to win you over. Nice guy, nice girl syndrome, a fool begging, groveling. We have gassed. Ooh, yeah, a lot of love. We have low key. What I tell you, secretive. We have savage. So, yeah. Your person, whatever partnership they've gotten into, yeah, they, there's no F's given. They are, you know, living in their truth. They're finally growing up or they're like, look, this is what I'm doing. This is who I want to be with. This is where I am. It makes sense for me. I don't know why I keep on getting here in Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. I don't know. Maybe somebody's asking a question about Kanye. What's the current gossip? Um, but yeah, this person unapologetic right now. And I'm just, you know, loud and proud, feeling the love. However, though, they're not hiding it. They're just keeping it low key. They're not hiding it. They're just not going to put everybody in the business of it. You know, they're not hiding the partnership or the new relationship. And there will be some sort of baby or some sort of staple that comes out of this. So if this is somebody that you were like, you know, just really hoping for a chance with or really in love with or just wanted to get back with, they may have mended with someone else with their ex or a recent, you know, something. But there's a lot of maturing energy that's coming off of this deck and i do feel like there was animosity involved at one point so we have this could be the one and we have for what i tell you maturing forgiving and learning and i also feel that this might be something that involves a marriage for some of you especially if this is romantic this might because i'm hearing romeo and juliet also it might be a mending of the families even though in romeo and juliet the families were against each other but in this case alter world romeo and juliet the families are coming back together or the family is coming together a mending of the family I'm hearing like some godfather type stuff. So, uh, uh, you know, colliding, not a colliding, but uh, an agreement of families, a family merger type thing. Um, but definitely this is this is something that's rooted in longevity. This is the beginning stages. You are in the, you know, this is the very beginning of it all or, or it's been maybe three months in. Once again, you're going to pick up on a lot of clues in regards to confirmation about this partnership or new relationship or then getting back together i see you looking at this person's social media and the other person's involved social media and you're going to get your clues in and trust me you're going to know it's going to make sense to you however though you know this is what's going on with them the, the gossip is this person is booed up or the partnership has mended the group's got back together something big is dropping though it's either a baby a marriage or a something to do with music or something to do with design because this is what the energy i'm feeling that people are asking in regards to the people they're asking about but that's what i have for you all deck number four so you let me know in the comment section below was this enough tea that was spilled yeah did you get what you came here for um uh, follow me on my second channel the information is in that pinned comment and description box below i'll be posting very very soon
Um, if you'd like to book a private reading, coach Sandy Reed, walk and read, priority reading, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Become a patron of mine where I do exclusive giveaways just for the patrons. Uh, yeah, hit that sub button when I get to 4,000. I'm doing a giveaway too. All you got to do is be a sub. And yeah, you all, I thank you so much um, for, yeah, just your energy for being here for just everything, y'all. I hope you're having a beautiful day whenever you see this. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.